Hello and welcome back. Okay, so so far what we have is just a navigation bar here and uh, I want to be able to click on the nav bar itself here and be sent to the home page for whatever reason in case I navigate somewhere else. So what I'll do is I'll go to the nav.php of course and this is where the nav bar is and this is where the uh, reference is so here I'll just put some PHP tags and say home underscore URL that's the function that gets you the home page okay so save there if I now refresh uh oh I have broken something yeah so if you don't see an error like this sometimes just uh, go into the um, what is this the page source so maybe the error is hiding somewhere here so look at that it is hiding here so fatal error call to undefined function hum url ah, okay so i should have written home not hum okay cool so we should be good here i refresh everything is back to normal if i now hover on this i will see that uh, it clearly shows that there's a home page there very nice now, since we have a navigation bar, this part here is the hardest to add on the nav bar. Uh, not really, but uh, you see why. But the search bar can actually start working immediately. So let's see how we can use the search bar. And we have a form right here. So the requirements, the only two requirements, or one requirement really, the second one isn't really that required. But let's add an action. So the action has to point to the home page. So we'll say PHP home URL again, like that. So now whenever we post this, it will go to the home URL. So that's okay. Once we do that, then the input, whatever the input is, has to have a name of S like this. Okay. So once we have S like that, we are done. This is all we need. So if I now refresh, Let's say I want to search for the hello world. So I'll just type hello, enter. And look at that, I get the result. We go back to the home page. Why am I not going to the home page? Okay, so the reason is that uh, it still has the hello. I don't know why it adds that at the very end. That is weird. Let me remove that. It's not supposed to add that. Hmm. Anyway, let's hold on for a second and see what's going on. So here when I say uh, on the post, on another post, let's go to our post itself, uh, homepage, right? We can add one more thing called the permalink. The permalink, like this. That's the link to that individual uh, post. So this is the link right there. So instead of making it like this, let's add an actual uh, A tag, shall we? And say A href, uh, the whole nine yards. So inside the href, I will echo that link right there and say read more, like so. So the reason I'm doing this is I want us to navigate to another page. So you see here now, if I click on another post, this is the only post that I get to see. So the nav bar isn't doing a very good job now, is it? Let me inspect the element here and let's see action. Okay, so the reason why we can't go back to the home page is because it seems home page. Let's go back to the nav bar. Uh, I think home URL may need to be echoed. So let me try and put an equal sign instead, like so, and use the get version of this, get home URL, something like that. Let's see if that works. Hmm. That doesn't, oh, this is from the form, right? Uh, I should have done this in the nav at the top here. So equal sign, get, URL. Let's try that. Okay, let me hover on this. Okay, now it's working. So I can go back to my home page like this, go to another post, go back to the home page. Okay, 
so we are good to go now very nice okay so apart from this now uh let's add some more content and i want to add the uh, what is this let's go back to now but since we don't have we don't need this page anymore bootstrap let's go to carousel components carousel here so we want that uh, home thingy that everybody seems to have on their website so i want this version with some text so that we can see how to customize this text later on so i'm going to copy this same thing and i will come back to my page and inside template parts i'll create a new file and paste the content save this as the slider.php save and then just like this if i go to my index page now i can duplicate that get template part and then put slider there so no need for the .php though so there we go now if i refresh there's some dots that i see here showing that uh, the slider is actually working if i click i see something zooming past here so it's actually working but i just can't see it because there are no images here now the same way we have lorem ipsum we have another website called pixum.photos so if you go to this website you can get any resolution of any image that you want just by typing here because it's an api so let me copy here copy that link so what you do is you go to another tab like the way i have done here let me actually save this image okay i did save it so you paste this link in there and then you add your resolution that you want so here i want 1000 uh, over 200 that's the resolution now copy this so that in case once you run it you don't like the image you can always get another one so let me paste this and this is the image i get so then i'll save this image to another folder and then i'll do it again to get another image and there we go nice image so i say save as and save so once you have three images because we need three images for this then we should be good to go so what i'll do now is go to those same images that i've downloaded let me get the ones that i like so i'll get this one i'll get that one i'll get this one so copy these images and let's go to our folder inside themes razor shop assets images paste so the slider one i'll name this one slider two and the other one slider three good so once we do this let's go to our slider now and um right here where we're supposed to add an image let's do something we're supposed to echo this so i'll put an echo sign like so so we'll use get template if you remember very well in the functions we had used this one here so that's what i want right here so copy into the slider and paste it here so i want this get uri and then here i'll say uh slash assets slash images slash slider one dot jpg okay cool so at least we should see one image now and there we go so one image coming up so i'm just going to copy this and paste it on the other ones as well and change the numbers so this one is slider three slider two save refresh and now let's click to see if things are working fine so if this slider isn't sliding like this it means your javascript bootstrap javascript file isn't added properly so you should check that out okay at least we are looking a bit more like a website then in the next video let's see how we can style our posts to look much better i'll see you then